So, we want to talk about key store and what it's used for. You can think of a key store as the address book for your keys. You assign them names, and there are keys that you can't remember because they're even longer than CIDs. They can be of different type. They can be RSA, they can be ED25, 519, or many other. And sometimes they are stored in plain text. And sometimes, if you provide the password, they will be encrypted and stored that way. You can do a bunch of things with those keys by referring to them with the names. You can encrypt and decrypt data blocks. You can sign and verify data blocks. You can also use them as identity. So when you publish IPS, something on IPLS, you can use different key for your publishing purposes. And uh, for PubSub, you can also sign messages. Uh, you can also share keys with other peers. And we also identified a few problems that I think worth mentioning. One is recovery is kind of not great, and UX is not great either. And whenever you need to migrate, you have to transfer all of those keys. So our friends identified that there is a BIP39, that is a key der derivation uh, mechanism that lets you have one master key. Uh, and the mnemonics to recover, and you can generate all the sub keys from it. Our friends from Textile and Side, Side are using those, uh, and that's the key store. Thank you.